vision a world where people see each other as human beings. That to me cuts out 80% of the world's problems. Welcome everyone to the Driving Vision Podcast brought to you by the Ziegler Auto Group. And here with me, Auto Group Director of Talent Development, Mike Van Ryan. Welcome, Mike. Hey, thanks, Sam. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast, like it if you do, and leave a comment. Join us today for a conversation with Ziegler Auto Group President and CEO Aaron Ziegler. Plus, Tim Tarantine shares a class he's teaching within the Ziegler Auto Group. Learn how he's driving vision, enabling intergenerational communication across Ziegler's employees. Finally, hear from our top technicians and service advisors for July 2022. But first, we turn to this week's conversation with Aaron Ziegler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Futures Ag Today here with President CEO of Ziegler Auto Group, Aaron Ziegler. So, Aaron, there's a big event coming up this September in the Ziegler Auto Group, an opportunity to give back. Tell us about Drive for Life 2022. Yeah, this is our 40th anniversary of Drive for Life. It's Monday, September 12th in Kalamazoo. And we've got Mel Tucker, Michigan State's head football coach, as our keynote speaker. Uh, This is a really big pull because Mel is in season and it is impossible to pull a coach away from his team in season, but Mel was more than happy to help us out. And uh, this being the 40th anniversary of the event, we're really stepping it up. As a company, every dollar that's raised, whether it be off a ticket sale, sponsorships, the live auction, silent auction, we're going to match it 100%. And then Greenleaf Trust is going to match at 50%. So we're hoping to raise about a million bucks that night. We're going to kick in a million bucks. They kick in a half a million. And our goal is to raise two and a half million bucks with your help. So the event's coming up. We're hoping all of you can help us to uh, sell some tickets, buy some tickets. It's going to be a really fun evening that night. So Aaron, this is the 40th year of Drive for Life. You always talk about the responsibility we have in business to give back. This is that opportunity. What does it mean to you and your family to have been involved and participatory in this over 40 years, starting out with what was the ticket price the first year? It's I think the ticket price was a dollar the first year and then uh, went to $100 and uh, it's gone up a little bit now. But we made the event a lot bigger. It's a great value for your money and it's really great to be able to give back. The communities have been so wonderful to us, supporting us as a business and we want to help out those that are less fortunate. And this is a great way to be able to do that and get the entire team Ziggler uh, behind this event. And 40 years to do anything is a really long it's time, yeah. especially on a, a charity event. So it's the longest running event in the nation of uh, its kind and it's going to be a fun night. We're going to raise a lot of money and have a great time. So Aaron, one thing we're going to do here today is we're going to ask everybody watching this video to hit the reply in the upper right hand corner and actually share with us what is your favorite memory from Drive for Life in years past. So we have 40 years of this. What's your favorite memory from Drive for Life in the past? Share that with us so we can share it and make that available the day of the I know what my favorite memory was, Sam. Please. So one of the people on our team that puts a tremendous amount of time and effort into this event and has done it for a long time is uh, Beth Calloward. And Beth was lucky enough to win the $30,000. And that was really cool to be able to see uh, her win that. So Ben Wallace goes to pick the name and he couldn't read the name. And you got (laughs) the name before Beth did. And then you announced it. Beth didn't even realize it took her a minute, didn't it? Yeah, because she was still working at the event. So she was yeah. she was collecting some money from somebody at the event. It took her a second to realize she won, but that was awesome. That's the beauty of Drive for Life is the opportunity it has to impact people in a positive way. That's one instance of it. But we've also interviewed a lot of people, Aaron, as part of the podcast, showing the charities that have benefited as a result. And there's quite a few. So transitioning from Drive for Life into the sporting world. So Mel Tucker will speak to us. Tom Izzo has spoken in the past. We talked about NASCAR recently. You've got some big plans with Michigan state coming up. Anything you share to care with, care to share with us regarding uh, Michigan State? Yeah, we're helping them out a number of different ways. And the co-branding of the NASCAR was a huge success here at uh, MIS uh, with them. But we're also going to do a nil deal with Peyton Thorne, their starting uh, quarterback uh, this year. So Peyton's going to be doing a bunch of social media stuff uh, with us. And he's also driving one of our cars, as has uh, Mel Tucker has bought a bunch of stuff from us recently, both on motorsports and car side of things. And uh, Tom Izzo just bought a car from us too. So they've been great supporters of our organization too. As has Tom. Tom Izzo's assistant. So it's uh, it's awesome to see Michigan State so intertwined with the Ziegler Auto Group and those cultures of competing and winning uh, matching so well. So uh, Aaron, we spent today with Jim Craig this morning. Tell us a little bit about what your thought is behind having Jim Craig work with us all these years. I think you said nine years uh, is where 
where we're at and what the future holds with Jim Craig. Yeah. So we've had a long-term relationship with Jim and he's had a uh, profound positive impact on our organization and we're constantly learning from him. And in this morning's call, you know, he said that uh, you're not looking for the best players, you're looking for the right ones. And uh, that, that couldn't hold more true for us as an organization. We're looking for people that are good quality people that fit into our culture, that want to do the right thing, that want to want to really take care of our customers and are passionate about doing that and passionate about helping out their uh, their coworkers and working as a team towards a, uh, a common goal. And it's amazing that we've been working with Jim now for nine years and uh, our contract comes up at the end of this year and we just renewed with Jim for another three years. So he's going to be a part of our team for the uh, foreseeable future. You know, it's interesting, Aaron, when you think about business, a lot of people think business leaders just do not tolerate failure, right? Like you've got to win, you've got to succeed. One of the quotes I came away with from today that you and Jim both shared is failure isn't fatal. The fear to fail is, how does that fit with the Ziegler Auto Group philosophy and your own leadership uh, ethic? You know, let me put this into race car terms. If, if I'm racing a car and I don't spin out every once in a while, I don't know what the, uh, the the capacity is on that car, how far I can push it. Yeah. So if you don't push it far enough, you don't know where that, that line is. Yeah. And uh, I'm okay with failing, but I say just fail fast and uh, move on. So if you're going to fail, fail quickly and forget about it, move on, learn from it and um, way you go because you you failing is what makes you uh, stronger. Talk to us about the role of communication when it comes to failing or gaining experience in business. You talk often about how important communicating through challenges and adversity is. Yeah, I think when you communicate and you're talking to other people and you're learning from them and they're learning from you and they can help you out and walk you through your failures and you got to kind of look at yourself. Nobody's perfect. Nobody has not failed in something uh, in their life. Um, if they are, they're not, they're certainly not self-aware. So um, it's okay to, to um, you know, get knocked down every once in a while. You just get up quickly, dust yourself off and um, and move on. It's interesting that at the Ziggler Auto Group, we spend time learning and growing together at a time when most dealers are, hey, let's focus on retail. Let's just go sell cars. Evidence of that was the Jim Craig session this morning. We do that with him many times a year. Another example is the performance group, which happened today. We were in there for many hours learning together as a group. But also there's a gentleman that's returning to the Ziggler Auto Group, Tim Tarantine. Tell us a little bit about your vision with him and how he'll interact with Team Ziggler in the coming months. I've known Tim for a long time and he worked with uh, HumanX. And Tim was our favorite instructor at uh, HumanX. And he went out on his own, started his own company. And we helped him out a little bit, uh, giving him some advice at the beginning on that. So we've um, partnered with Tim with a long-term contract. And he's going to spend um, 20 days or so a year with our different team members. We started up in Wisconsin with him uh, last week. We got a lot of great feedback, very positive feedback on the things that Tim's teaching. And Tim had really helped us to learn culture and immerse ourselves in culture and learn how to, to really work together and be inclusive with everybody working towards a uh, common goal. So really looking forward to Tim getting out with um, all of our team members here moving forward. We've got um, uh, putting together a schedule right now for him. So I know he's going to be in Chicago coming up and then in Michigan uh, after that. I'm excited to hit one of those classes. It's interesting, you know, in our auto group, we have people of various ages representing various generations. And he pointed out one of the challenges of working together intergenerationally is communicating, right? So we talked about the importance of communication. So Aaron, we're excited to have Tim Terrence time back with us. Uh, we're excited to join him uh, here in the locker room in the, in the coming future. Any closing comments uh, this week, Aaron? You know, we're on a, uh, a great roll this year and um, greatly appreciate uh, everything that each and every one of you are doing for the organizations. Appreciate you taking care of our, our customers and exceeding their expectations and making our customers happy and working so well together as a team to have great uh, success. So I'm proud to work with uh, each and every one of you. Thanks so much for everything you do and have a great week, Team Ziegler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the special edition of the Future of Zag Today Driving Vision Podcast. Mike Van Ryn, we have a special guest, someone that's known to us. Mike, would you introduce our guest? Honored to introduce my friend and our friend at Team Ziegler, Mr. Tim Tarantine. An amazing leader. Tim, thank you for investing time with us over the last couple of days at Team Ziegler. Tim, welcome. Pleasure's mine, Mike. So, Tim... You are not new to the Ziegler Auto Group. You are a friend, a returning champion to this auto group. You've known us. You've been with us in the past, and we're thrilled to have you back with us. But we don't stop. We don't start our podcast in a different way for anybody. So the first question is, Tim, what is your vision of the world, and how are you driving that vision? How are you changing the world through your vision, Tim? I vision a world where people see each other as human beings. That, that to me cuts out 80% of the world's problems. If I can look at you as a person 
similar like me, that you you and your aspirations are just as important or just like mine, and that our stories are not as different as we imagine. I think workplaces are more effective, communities are more effective, families uh, are more safe. And I think I'm living that mission through this new business I've launched called Translators Group, who has a sole purpose of bringing understanding and meaning in organizations where there's confusion and uh, emotion and anxiety that helps us, but sometimes isn't helpful in the team concept. And so, yeah, I'm working every day to try to work on the vision I see for the world. Tim, that is a beautiful vision, a world where people see each other. There's so many things in our culture and world today that seek to divide us. So it could be, you know, political, it could be social, it could be religious, it could be a whole bunch of different areas. One area it seems you focused on with Team Ziegler over the past little while are the challenges created by just age, right? And the differences that age naturally bring about. What are some of the problems that people of different generations bring to the workplace that could divide us and not unite us, Tim? Well, I think it's back to the core of our work at Translators Group, which is all about helping people be inclusive minded, how to get fascinated around the mindset of making sure we max out the potential in our organizations. And the truth is everybody has, every human being has something to bring that is helpful, right? And for some reason, things like age, right? Step in the way. I mean, you hear it all the time. You get in a room of people in any business where there's multi-generations, you need only stay around for a day or two to hear about those old boomers or those crazy millennials or those kids or those old folk. And boy, I tell you, the, the kind of battle that goes on on this topic of age and generational differences, it's one of those things that just goes unchecked right? Because we really don't know how to talk about it because all of us know we got age coming. If we're going to live, one day we won't be the cool kids anymore. And so I think it's just a human dynamic that gets in the way of how we see each other, how we leverage everybody's bag of gifts that they bring. And uh, I'd like to have us see different so we can do different. So speaking it to Team Ziegler, who will get the opportunity to hear from you in the coming weeks as you go throughout our auto group and engage with our teams this way, there are many ways this uh, generational gap or separation can take place. One I think of is when I think of communication, in a lot of ways, I think about somebody picking up a phone or driving over to someone's house and talking to them. Now, if you talk to another generation, they're perfectly content to just be looking on a digital device and having that level of communication. Is there a way to bridge that gap between I must talk to you on the phone and I'm okay texting with you and having that be communication? How do you bridge that gap? Or is that what we'll hear in the coming weeks, Tim? There are a whole series of ways, right? We can overcome that that gap, because let's just face it, wherever there's difference, there's tension. And we're going to learn in the class. I hope you come. We're on our way to Kalamazoo to do those classes. You got to come here because there's lots of strategies for you to just lean in in the moment when you have those intergenerational clashes. I have them with my 14 year old son all the time. The very glasses I'm wearing, I think they're pretty cool. He tells me I look like Kurt Rambis from the 1970s Laker team. <laughs> It, it's not because I'm not cool. It's because you know, his generation Lakers fan, sees things, right? They, they see it different. They see cool different. And we laugh about these intergenerational things all the time. But in the work context, the way to get over it, get curious, right? Like, I want to know, son, why does Kurt Rambis come to mind when you see me? Tell me more about that. <laughs> yeah. Right? And we'll learn. I'm joking yeah. about the glasses. But the truth is there's much more serious implications when we can't move through those uncomfortable moments uh, with curiosity and a, and a list of other things we'll talk about in the courses together. Well, Tim, we are so excited to attend your sessions. I'll absolutely 100% be there. Curiosity is the foundation of our culture within the Ziegler Auto Group. And so I'm excited to learn your additional strategies to bring us together and to avoid what separates us. We had in the locker room just last week, former NFL star member of the Chicago Bears and ESPN analyst talking to us, Sam Acho, talking to us about the importance of being present with each other, just sitting with each other and connecting. We hear so often, Tim, the importance of, as a group, putting our differences aside. Sam gave us a great example of that, where they all agreed as a team to come together on something that 
traditionally would have separated them. And uh, excited to hear some of these tips and ideas. Mike, I have a cool idea. Wouldn't it be neat after Tim has shared these strategies with all of Team Ziggler to do feedback from all the team and have them record their highlights? And it would be a reel of everyone and their individual takeaways. And Tim, I think that'd be kind of neat to see what people got and how Team Ziggler will continue to come together to see each other, to stand together, to be together, to be as one team after your training, Mike. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a great idea, Sam. We got to ask Tim, Tim, what was your impression of uh, Wisconsin? We welcomed our new Wisconsin teams into the fold, Sam. Yeah. With this leadership development. What's your thought of our Wisconsin teams, Tim? I tell you, I ran into what immediately seemed like another Ziegler store. You had people meeting me at the door. I got out of my car. I was in a rental car, a car too small for me, let me tell you. Uh, so the man watched me struggling, getting out of the car at a real low to the ground at 6'2". But anyway, so he was there at the door to greet me. And throughout every step I took, there was another person there to engage me. They didn't try to sell me a car. They welcomed me. Folks were on time, ready to go for every session. And, you know, the blessing of it is we did a lot of talking those couple of days and my body was tired, but my soul was on fire uh, from the first session to the end. The energy just continued to flow. I'm looking forward to diving in with the rest of the team real soon. Which, by the way, is another benefit of being connected. It's the energy that's created and is the result, the vision that ends up getting driven. So, Tim, tell us how listeners uh, both inside Ziggler Auto Group and outside can find you, connect with you, learn more about you, Tim. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate that. The company name is Translators, Translators Consulting Group. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on LinkedIn. And, of course, we have presence on Instagram, Translators CG. Uh, is the tag on all social media, Translators CG. If you see the hashtag Translators Mount Up, that's us. I grew up with Warren G. Regulators, it's Translators Mount Up. Tim, we want to thank you for your passion. We want to recognize you for your heart for people. And you've done a tremendous job in uh, two full days in Wisconsin and Chicago. Can't wait. Can't be more excited for you to come on August 25 to Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm excited for you. Tim Tarantine, Mike Van Ryan, thank you all. Hi, this is Brian Coster, Service Director at Ziegler Nissan in Orland Park, and I am sitting here today with technician top performers for the import side, Dan Moore and Brian Carlson, who are also President's Club winners, and we had some quick questions for you guys. So the group would like to know, what does it mean to you working for the Ziegler Auto Group? And that question's for Dan Moore. Dan. It means a lot working for Ziggler. It's a lot of pride. You know, it's a big company, which means you feel a part of something, you know, a little bit bigger than yourself. And uh, everyone here is friendly. You know, it's almost like family, you know, type of vibe. Everyone's help, willing to help out. I, you know, I'm willing to help out. So we're very prideful on you know, that. So looks great. Looks great. How does it feel being recognized as the best of the best across the auto group in July? Uh, it feels great. Um, like you said, President's Club winner. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but it always makes you strive for more. You, you can never, you know, never just say, oh, that's great. I, I'm going to take a month off. Yeah, you know? that's great. That's you, great. You just keep going. You've got to be relentless, you know, in, in your profession and, you know, keep going. Get that next one. Get lined up. Yep. And what is one suggestion you could give to the others in the group to make this list in August? Um, don't get discouraged. You know, you have a bad, everyone has bad days, bad weeks even. You know, everyone gets in ruts, I'd say. It dep- it's up to you on how long you're in that rut. You know, you can dig yourself out fast or you can dig yourself out slow. So if you dig yourself out fast, you're going to be much happier in your, you know, with what you're doing and obviously make more money. So Great, great. Thanks, Dan. No problem. I'm going to switch over to Brian Carlson. Brian, what does it mean to you working for the Ziggler Auto Group? Like Dan said, it means a lot. Uh, coming from when uh, the dealership got bought six and a half years ago, it immediately changed and we saw that results were instant and we were just much more happy to come to work and stay here. We come in early, stay late, and just try to help out as a team. How does it feel being recognized best of the best across the group in July? It feels great. I mean, it's great when multiple managers come up and say, hey, good job last month. And I mean, it's just, I mean, we we do, uh, do a lot to get to this. And I mean, it just makes it that much better to come to work. Right, right. What is one suggestion you could give to others in the group to make this list in August? Um, Stay at it. I mean, this is a this isn't a marathon. Uh, or it's a marathon, not a um, sprint. So I mean, you just have to take everything in stride. I mean, take every ticket. I mean, 
I take oil changes and I can sell any uh, up to a lot of work on oil changes. I mean, don't ever just take not say, hey, it's just an oil change. It's not just an oil change. It's an opportunity to make money. That's a great example. That's a great example. Well, thanks, guys, for your time, and have a great day, Team Ziggler. My name is James Snyder. I'm with Team Granville. Just wanted to say thank you to the Ziggler organization for allowing us to go out to MIS and watch the number 77 car. Our race with a really cool MSC paint job. Everything was really fun. We had a super great time, and uh, we can't wait to the next one. Thanks again. This is Zach Morford at the Lowell store. Just wanted to give a shout-out to Chandler Miller down in Elkhart. He recently stepped out of his comfort zone and led part of the Z-Force meeting, and he did an absolutely fantastic job. Great job, Chandler. Hey, Team Ziggler, it's Araya Daniels. I'm sitting here at Motorsports today with one of our top performing service advisors, Josh Moore. Hey, Josh, how's it going? Doing pretty good, Araya. Good. I'm doing so good. So congratulations on making the top list this past month of July. So what do you feel like, Josh, attributed to your success last month? service team in general just helped get me to where I needed to be and everybody played their part and did everything perfectly. That's awesome. So, and that's really cool. That says a lot about your character, not just giving kudos just to yourself, but to the team definitely is a team effort, right? Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Cannot be done by yourself. Yeah, that's great. How about any advice that you could give to someone who wants to make this list next month? Be a team player, use the resources that are given to you, follow the, the motto here at Ziggler. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing your continued success as we progress through the rest of the year, okay? Appreciate you. Awesome. Thanks so much, Josh. Hey, Team Ziggler. It's Araya. I'm back here at Motorsport. I'm sitting with Anthony and also one of our top technicians, Barry Neesmith. Barry, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. First off, congratulations at making our top technician list here at Motorsport. Awesome. Anthony, do you want to tell us first why is Barry so awesome? Listen. Gary, listen, this is how I was like, I became number one. I said, oh, it wasn't because of me. It's because of Barry Neesmith. <laughs> and then I got to be here today and say it with him with me. This is awesome. He, he knocks out so many units at a timely manner that is so amazing. And he doesn't complain. That's so awesome. So, Barry... Tell us, give me just a little bit of a background on where you started. I know you said you've been you've been a mechanic since the 70s, right? Correct. How long had you been motorsports or you started with Eminem, is that right? Correct. Okay. And just made the transition over with us. How has that been? It's been an awesome ride so awesome. far. Awesome. Well, good deal. Well, we wanted to make sure that we got you on our podcast here for some recognition that you so rightfully deserve. So thank you so much for your time and all the hard work that you've had over the years. So. And thank you very much. Awesome. Well, congratulations. And Anthony, thanks so much oh, again. I'm so glad I could bring you up here. Awesome. <laughs> thanks, all right. Thanks, guys. Hey, Team Ziggler. It's Araya Daniels. I'm sitting at Motorsports here again with Anthony Smith. Hi, Anthony. Hello. We're laughing here because this is the second time I've asked Anthony, hey, let's do a quick pod- podcast report on your success. So you've made it again on the top advisors list. How awesome is that? I love it. It's a great achievement. Yeah. Uh, I never thought that this would be my path. Right. Yeah. So, and that's actually a really great question to kind of ask you, Anthony, is what does it mean to you for working with Ziggler? Because you didn't start off as a service advisor with us, correct? No, I didn't. Um, You know, the coolest thing is that it was just great to get an opportunity to do something different. I worked at a car wash and uh, I just did my best there. And I always got to throw a shout out to Chris Snyder. You know, <laughs> he was like, man, how long have you been here? I'm like 11 years. Yeah. He said, have you ever thought of doing anything different? So he gave me the opportunity to come down and do detailing at yes, first. Yes, that's right. And then that September, he said, hey, why don't you do me a favor and try this out? And uh, I've been doing that since September uh, of that year. And I've made the actual presence club yeah. both years. How awesome, so, right? It's That's yeah. what it's all about is that growth path and just the opportunity. And it's great to hear stories like that from My within. favorite part, growth. Yeah. Awesome. That's so great. Okay, so then secondly, what's one suggestion you could give to someone who wants to make this list in August? Well, one of the things is is that you have to stay within team atmosphere. Okay. Um, if, yep. if, if I focus on just me, 
and only closing my deals, then when the people are calling, I'm not going to get anywhere. Yeah. You know, right. so yeah. I, I just got to I got to keep working on mine and make sure I, I do my part so that everybody else can so do their team. part. Gosh, that's so awesome. So yeah. I just had the exact same conversation with Josh, too, nice. through the podcast. And that says so much about your guys' culture and the team that you've got downstairs there um, in the service department. You guys all work so well as a team. And that obviously is shining through, obviously being as successful as both of you have been the last month. So He's a great guy. Good He's deal. Great Amy's knowledgeable. That's oh. it. I'll be rubbing shoulders with like teach me some more. <laughs> Good deal. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Anthony, and good luck to you on your continued success, okay? Thank you very much. All right, thanks. Hi, this is Brian Koster, Service Director at Infinity in Orland Park. I'm meeting with uh, July top producer technician, Robert Garcia, who is also a President's Club winner. And we just had a few questions for Robert. And I'd like to start with this question. What does it mean to you working for the Ziegler Auto Group? Uh, the biggest thing working for Ziegler has been, it's been stability. I mean, I've, I've been in the business 20 years and I've worked at a couple different dealers before this. And there's always changes in management. There's always a constant turnover with managers, directors, and you never know who you're going to get. Uh, Brian's been with us since day one. And it's nice knowing you come in every day, you have the same manager, same director, you know what he expects. You know if you need something, he's there to handle it. And you're not wondering who this new guy that's in here this month is. So that's been the biggest thing with Ziggler Auto Group, has been the stability of it. The stability. Thank you, Robert. Thank you. Um, how does it feel being recognized as best of the best in the auto group for July? Uh, it's, it's awesome. I mean, it's, it's nice to be recognized for positive stuff. Again, you know, I've been in the business a long time. Usually the only time you hear from directors or managers is when you do something wrong. And so it's really nice to hear that you're doing things right and, you know, things are going well for you. It's, it's a nice change of pace. It's a great culture. Um, what is one suggestion you could give to others in the group to make this list in August? Uh, the biggest thing is just maximizing opportunities. I mean, cars come in for work that, yeah, maybe it's not the greatest ticket when you get it, but you just got to, you know, make sure you're finding everything that's wrong, make sure you're addressing problems as they come in. I mean, you never know. A car can come in for an oil change and you, know, you let them know what it needs and sometimes they're going to take care of it all and, and it turns it into a great ticket for you and it will make your day. Yes, so. that's great. That's great. Thanks, Robert, and uh, have a great day, Team Ziegler. Hi, this is Brian Coster, Service Director in Orland Park, and I am here with July Top Producers Bradley Galusia and Dominic Sarakis. Dominic Sarakis is one of our technicians who is in the Top Producers for July. And Dominic, we just had some quick questions for you. What does it mean to you working for the Ziegler Auto Group? I've been able to uh, work here for 12 years, and just to be able to have the ability to uh, have the tools available to be able to perform uh, in the group. Great. Nice. Great. How does it feel being recognized as the best of the best across the auto group in July? It's nice. Most places don't recognize you unless you screw up. So when you do something good, it's nice to be recognized. It's pretty rewarding, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, what is one suggestion you could give to the others to make this list in August? Uh, not to let the bad jobs get you down. Just work through all the bad jobs for the next best thing that comes around. Great. Great. Okay. I'm going to switch over to Bradley Galusia. Um, Galusha, sorry. Um, and uh, Brad, I'm going to ask you the same question. So here it goes. What does it mean to you uh, working for the Ziegler Auto Group? Uh, it's really nice. Uh, coming to Ziegler about two and a half years ago has uh, made it so my family and I can live, live a much better life at this point. You know, moving, moving towards higher, better goals in, in the world. And Ziegler's, uh, Ziegler has uh, provided us the ability to do that. That's great. That's great. How does it feel being recognized as the best of the best across the auto group in July? Um, fills me with Ziegler pride. Um, yeah, makes right. Me, makes yeah. me really, really happy. It, it, it makes me want to strive to do better and, and you know, be here long term. Great. Great. What is one suggestion you could give the others in the group to make this list in August? Uh, perseverance. You know, you got to you gotta stay strong and keep focused and, and make sure that you attack the problem when it comes at you and get through it and get to the next to the next thing that's great guys thanks for your time and have a great day team ziggler a special thanks to you our weekly listener for continuing to make us one of the most listened to podcasts in business thanks to aaron ziggler tim tarantine mike van ryan and all our roving reporters for contributing to this week's episode remember to purchase your drive for life ticket today so you can join us in kalamazoo monday september 12th until next week how are you driving vision today.